I wasn't planning on making a video tonight, but I want to use this machine for something. I have a, like a 24-hour print, and since this is set up, might as well use it. This print came out very well. Very well. Probably about as good as you're going to get on a 300 by 300 machine. What is this? Well, let me show you. And I'll give you guys a link to my files. This is a model that I had done myself. It's a copy, a pretty much exact copy of the 1964 Jim Bean liquor bottle. Why would I... Why would I want to make a exact copy of a 1964 Jim Bean bottle? Well, it was actually quite a special bottle. Some of you guys might remember that. That's the I Dream of Genie bottle. As a matter of fact, I have a little I Dream of Genie here. This is uh, scaled at 80% of my original files. If you print this at 100%, you'll have an exact copy of the factory bottle. So, And she does fit into the other bottle up to about our shoulders there. So this, this is the stopper for the uh, bottle. Oops, maybe, let's see. Maybe this bottle is not 80%. I'll have to look to see what I got for other bottles. But this this was printed at 80%. This might be a 75% copy. That's why it's not fitting in there perfectly. But anyways, that looks very nice. Very nice. Uh, why is this looking better? Extrusion uh, rate, I measured off 100 millimeters. Unfortunately, this doesn't have an extrude 100 millimeters, so I was sitting there pressing a button 10, 10, 10, 10 times. So then I got to my 100. And I found that I was off probably about... Uh, 10%. I think the factory setting was like 380, 380 something. And the actual number that I used was something like uh, 4, 425. So it was off. It was off. It was, it was not extruding enough. And that's probably why our little, uh, Teardrop vase came out with some defects in the extrusion. It just wasn't pushing enough plastic, but this looks very nice. So, anyways, I'll give you guys a link to this bottle if you want. It's quite nice. <laughs> gotta be, gotta be old enough to remember that. Here's, here's a stopper. This is, this is what the whole bottle looks like. So, we got this thing tuned in very nice. I'm going to do a 24-hour print. It's a power supply holder for one of my other printers. And uh, it's just a, just a utility print, basically. I have something I need to get done, you know. I'm working with the new clipper. <laughs> new clipper pad. And I set up a machine specifically for that. And I want to uh, relocate the power supply. Because, you know, we have uh, dual Z... 
dual Z setup, so I have to move the power supply. Let's see what we got here. It's not on this folder. Anyways, guys, uh, definitely getting some good results out of the machine. This group is very quiet. Very quiet. Yeah, it's actually about 1.30 in the morning here. <laughs> so I'm busy tomorrow and uh, I'm going to let this run for a day. So I'll see you guys uh, again a few days. Monday, something like that. Let's we'll see how good this print comes out too. Take care. Happy printing.